welcome to Bengal Whisper. I hope all of you are doing great. Today I'm going to talk to you about this beautiful fabric that I created. Now this is a fabric you can use for making a dress or a scarf or anything that you wish. So in this fabric I have use some trim so I put some trim on the sides and I use some sequin and I glued some sequin so this fabric really looking awesome you can decorate your fabric like this and after that you can use that to make any dress or you can use it for a scarf or you can use it as a hijab many people wear hijab they can decorate their hijab like this and this is really really beautiful and I have used contrasting color here I use some contrasting sequin and rhinestone so there's sequin and rhinestone and the two different designs in it one is the big flower and then there's the little flowers so I put two different designs with rhinestone and sequin inside has the trim now you can decorate fabric like this and you can use it as curtain as well like a siphon fabric curtain and it will look really nice and for washing you can hand wash it and they won't wash up for hand washing so this is really really awesome looking fabric and this design is really very simple I use just rhinestone in the middle and outside I use the same matching sequin and I put about um, seven to eight sequin all around center is one uh, this is diamond rhinestone so the rhinestones are diamond color and all around the sides I have sequin which are pink color the same color as the fabric fabric is like magenta color the same color the sequin where you can find the same color sequin is you can get a hairband the hairbands are really cheap like a dollar or something and then to that you're going to find the beautiful sequin so this is really 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 beautiful and looking really gorgeous and I have this trim I got this trim from the Christmas trims you know and this had the sides had the wire because these trims come with wire for making flowers and Christmas um, gifts and I'm using that I took off the wire taking out the wire wasn't easy but um, it worked after I took off the wire it's a nice trim so you can use those trims for any of your dresses and stuff that you want to stitch trim to because those trims are really wide and you know after Christmas they give a good sale on those trims you can just buy a lot of them and use it for your arts and crafts projects so now I'm going to stitch this trim to this uh, scarf and I'm just giving very simple running stitches as you see I'm doing a little stitch on the top and inside the long stitches and this is a very simple simple stitch as long as you just keep tiny small stitches on the top and make sure that you're thread is same thread as the trim so if your trim is golden you should have golden or yellow thread because 
that way it looks good now don't keep the thread too long because then it will get tangled it's better to just keep the thread small so you can work with it and this is a very nice little project and the outcomes really beautiful because the decoration becomes really really nice so you can decorate like this any fabric that you want and then make dresses or anything if you know how to and this is a really great project for anybody so i have to stitch uh, two sides top one stitch and bottom another stitch because this is um, wide trim this is not very thin trim so when the trims are wide you need to stitch put the side now you can give a machine stitch in this machine too but I prefer to give it hand stitch because hand stitch is easy to open like if you want to change if you don't like your trim you made a mistake or something so hand stitch is really easy to open but the machine stitch is not easy to open so I wouldn't do a machine stitch I would do a hand stitch So this is really like very calming and really good good um, laser time job like you are watching a television or something you can do this and once you know how to do it you really don't need to focus that much because you're just stitching it in both the sides top and the bottom just always make sure that your top stitches are small and the bottoms are big and but if you can keep the bottoms little that's fine too but the top has to be smug and also don't stitch too tight because that's going to make it make some pleats and wrinkly so be sure to just you know loosely stitch it that's another reason that I don't want to do any machine stitching because machine stitching will make it like very tight so this you will go around three sides two sides and the bottom part the top one if you don't do it is okay because in the top one stays in your neck and that's going to get folded anyway so you can skip that part if you have very little um, this